former tropical depression 1W continues to limp towards the Philippines today. It is still a tropical disturbance but could become a tropical depression once more in the next 24 hours. 7.3 degrees north, 137.7 degrees east. Indeed, it could become stronger than that at tropical storm status, but we're mostly concerned about the rainfall potential which puts it onto CDPS stage 2. The overall threat to land is now set to moderate. A stage 2 system uh, can be deemed as significant, but with the rain that we've recently seen in the Philippines, it's certainly not good news. Here it is then, 25 miles an hour, 1,004 millibars. That's its current location. It's south of Yap to the east of Palau. Uh, the distances on those are as follows. Uh, 150 miles from Yap, 210 from Palau, the capital Malekiok. 766 from Caraga, 830 from Davao City and 852 from Surigao in the Philippines. Uh, the storm, if it does become a tropical storm, is likely to move up towards the northwest and possibly do a bit of a loop off the eastern coast of the Philippines. No warnings yet in effect as you can see here. It's obviously not a tropical cyclone at this point but it's getting closer. A tropical cyclone formation alert has been issued by the Joint Typhoon Warning Center uh, in the last 12 to 24 hours and we'll see on whether that becomes valid. Uh, so you can see the system moving through there. Look, look at all that rainfall occurring over the central and northern part of the Philippines as we enter the new week. Um, the system, whilst it's probably going to remain disorganized, even if it does get to tropical storm status, rainfall does remain the biggest threat from this system. Uh, you can see residual rainfall still occurring throughout the later part of the week as well. Not quite associated with the storm, but was whatever's left of it by the time it dies. Sea surface temperatures will provide ample fuel for the system, 28 degrees Celsius or so, uh, although if the system does track too far to the north, those temperatures will drop off a bit of a cliff. Here's the wind forecast according to the GFS model. Now the HWRF model does predict this system to become a tropical storm and remain so for quite some time, but as you can see the GFS is not very keen on the system becoming a tropical storm at all. You can't see any areas of green there really apart from maybe just a tiny bit of the northern part of Luzon there but really the GFS doesn't predict a tropical storm at this stage or if it does it's a very borderline marginal one. So needless to say winds are not going to be the biggest concern from this system it's going to be their rainfall and to uh, exemplify that even further the chance of tropical storm force winds shown here 25% in Palau, 30% in Surigao, 40% in Tacloban that's the highest of the lot and 15% in Cebu. So if you want to take a look at some other models, well as a matter of fact only the HWRF and GFS are shown on this chart, but you can see the difference between the two can make all the difference, the blue line being the HWRF model. Um, ironically, the HWRF thinks there'll be a slight bit more shear than the GFS does, so wind shear is not going to be the inhibiting factor. Um, relative humidity is looking fairly good but it will start to drop and you can see the track forecasts from both of those models there on the screen on your left hand side both of them affecting the Visayas region and perhaps Mindanao. You can see on the satellite imagery it's not particularly expansive certainly not compared to Usman late in December which is uh, which I think became the most deadliest storm in the Philippines of 2018 despite being one of the weakest and you can see again uh, significant amounts of rainfall occurring over Yap right now, some convective activity there. But the centre of the system lies further to the south, to the east of Palau, which isn't really getting too much in the way of bad weather at the moment either. The Philippines starting to see a few isolated thunderstorms, but not too much over there just yet. Stay tuned. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page, you're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 all in text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. If you wanted to feel like Christmas every other week, you can also become a patron on the project. You can help Force 13 become even better in the process. Find out more information at patreon.com forward slash Force 13 to see what benefits you could have from that. With a special thanks to these patrons, too many to read out individually, but we thank them very much for their support through the project over several months now. 
You can also find Force 13 on Skype and Fool 13 on Discord at extension 9094 for Tropical Weather Chat.